In the mid-1930s, the Wehrmacht was looking for a remote area to develop new types of weapon systems with rocket propulsion. At the northern tip of Usedom, the military found a free field of fire along the Pomeranian coast into the Baltic Sea. Moreover, the island could be easily blocked off and was far away from large cities. The Peenemünde Hook fulfilled all requirements and so a test site with massive facilities was established beginning in 1936. It became the largest armament center in Europe. Up to 12,000 people, including thousands of forced laborers, were working there at the same time over an area of 25 square kilometers. The goal was the development and testing of long-range or precision control aircraft. Most famously, the FI-103 flying bomb and the A-4 rocket. During the war, they were referred to by their propaganda name Vergeltungswaffen, weapons of retaliation, V-1 and V-2. It was hoped that these innovative weapons would be decisive in the Second World War and help the Nazi German Reich to victory. The former Pinemünde power plant is the last large building of the research institutes to remain standing completely. You can learn about the history here. During the Second World War and the entire GDR period, the area was a restricted military zone. For more than 30 years, however, the public has been able to enter it, look around and experience it. The Pinemünde Historical Technical Museum was founded in 1991. In several exhibitions we present the history of the Peenemünde Research Institute. This room is about early rocket history and its beginnings in the 1920s. The exhibition shows the systematic development and testing of the new weapons. The living conditions of the people here in Peenemünde. The cereal production by forced laborers in the Mittelbau Dora concentration camp complex. And the use of the weapons in the war. Replicas of the flying bomb and the missile can be seen in the outdoor area. An original train from the Peenemünde factory railway is also on display. The exhibition here in the train shows how people and material were transported to the research institutes. You can immediately see from this the huge effort that was necessary for the development, testing and production of the new weapons. The former power plant is the largest technological monument in Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania. 
92 meters long and with its three preserved chimneys almost 40 meters high. The coal-fired power plant was built between 1939 and 1942. It had to cover the research institute's entire demand for electricity. When it was put into operation, it was one of the most modern power plants in Europe. Electricity was generated here until 1990. Today, an exhibition on the history and functioning of the power plant can be seen here. A monument that you can freely walk into. A glass elevator takes visitors through the boiler house to the roof of the power plant. From the viewing platform on the roof, you immediately get an idea of the size of the former research institutes. Science, the military, state administration and business worked together here to create the most innovative weapons of war imaginable. The Nazi regime hoped that the new technology would solve all its problems and decide the war for Germany. The example of the Peenemünde Research Institutes teaches us a lot about National Socialism and the Second World War in general. However, Historical events also give us a chance to reflect on the role of technology in society today. The learning opportunities offered by the museum explain the motivation of those involved in its armaments project and their scope for action, the influence of Nazi ideology the course of the Second World War, the exploitation of prisoners of war and prisoners from concentration camps in the war economy, and the promises of Nazi propaganda. Our most important objects are the remains of the research institutes that we find outside the museum. 23 stations make up the Peenemünde monument landscape. It teaches history where it happened. Plants, animals and monuments form a cultural landscape that tells of armaments technology, war and destruction, but also of the disappearance of human intervention and its lasting footprint. History and nature combine here in a way that is seen almost nowhere else. See you soon at the Peenemünde Historical Technical Museum.